My name is Alana McLaughlin. I am only 13. <laughs> I am an eighth grader at John Early Middle, and I play trumpet, piano. I was a cheerleader for two years. This was my last season, but I'll play cheer next year. I ran track. I've done multiple, I'm, I'm a part of multiple organizations such as, well, I'm an alumna of the Junior National Young Leaders Conference. Mm. Every summer I go to camp at uh, Western Kentucky University's Center for Gifted Studies. They have camps such as SCATS, which is the summer camp for academically talented students, and VAMPI, which is the summer camp for verbally and mathematically precocious youth. Mm -hmm. I have always wanted to make a difference in the world. And growing up as a minority and as and, and, and growing up in a race that is so powerful yet so overlooked, it's always been hard for me to do that. And so this is kind of like my outlet to share information and to bring awareness to the things that you wouldn't usually hear. And it's interesting to see this little black girl on TV just talking about these things because that's not something you see every day. Like I said, we're an amazing race that's just constantly overlooked. And we have so much power and knowledge and understanding to give. It's just... We're overlooked, and so I use the show as my outlet to share information, and I've been doing this for, this is, uh, what month is this? this? is May. In December, it'll be my eighth year doing this, and so this is my biggest pastime. <laughs> and so, Alana, in a real sense, this is a topic that you've given some thought to, and I think that all of the topics that you've already given us dealing with on this level have been very, very interesting as well as very, very informative kinds of uh, topics. Let's start off by allowing you during the uh, remaining part of this first segment to uh, sort of lay the foundation as to why you would like to uh, talk about uh, uh, Islamic, uh, in Islam in uh, America and, and give our audience some idea in terms of what Islam is all about. Well, in the first, sub, in the first segment, I'm really going to go into vocabulary, so. Before, a couple of days ago, I had no idea what anti-Islamic sentiment was. So we're going to break down the words and basically explain it so that the viewers will have a better knowledge of what we're talking about. First of all, sentiment is like a good feeling and et cetera, and et cetera. Think sentimental. Anti-sentiment -sen is the exact opposite. It's negative feelings. So think... Mm, uh, Jim Crow laws were anti-sentimental towards blacks. That's why you can remember that. Islam is a religion. People always confuse Muslims. Okay, Islam is the religion and Muslims follow that. Just think uh, Christians follow Christianity. It is a very, very common misconception that A, Muslims are race, that B, Islam is the people that follow Muslims. It's the complete opposite. Islam is a monotheistic and Abrahamic religion that is based on the verbatim word of God, which they know as the Quran. The Quran is the equivalent of the Bible and Christianity. I'm making inferences like this because, you know, the, a lot of people in America are Christian. So that's like a, just something they can understand about. The Quran is this, basically their holy word and the complete, um, the main purpose of the world for Islam is to follow God to obey God. And so that's a little overview of Islam and Muslims, the people who follow Islam. And so viewers will have a better understanding of what we're talking about in the next two subjects where we talk about anti-Islamic sentiment and how that affects the new generations. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so uh, what we'll do, we'll take this uh, first commercial break after you've given us sort of a foundation for the discussion of Islamic, anti-Islamic sentiment in the uh, United States. We'll come back during the second segment to get into some cases dealing with uh, some of the problems that we're dealing with now. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Uh, I was trying to catch up with this. This is my time. Can we here. scoot that over a little bit so I can see it out the corner of my eye? Because I'm looking right here. Actually, see, the thing is, you um, to be like. Yeah, okay, well, that's better anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, and so, Lana, the second segment we're going to yeah. talk about, we're talking about anti Islamic sentiment in yeah. the United States. That'll be the introduction, and then we're 
talking to you and then uh, we're going to give you an opportunity to talk about what? I mean, how you want to uh, introduce this topic? Is that what you want to do? Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a recap of the first subject, like the vocabulary mm -hmm. and stuff, mm -hmm. and just get into what it is. Okay, very good. And this whole segment is going to be what it is, and the third segment will be how it affects my generation mm -hmm. and well, this social media is, and stuff like that. It's eight minutes of what it is. This is what you think you can I talk know. about for eight minutes? Yeah, I can talk about what it is for eight minutes. Yeah, well, I can talk about what it is for ten minutes. I can talk about what well, it just, is for just, eight just, just talk about it for eight minutes, okay? Just, I mean, that'll, be, that'll be appropriate. I like okay, those okay. reviews that you give too, in order to bring the audience in. Too. Thank you. <laughs> Paul, when we do it. You gotta go like this, Paul. Mm -hmm. You gotta go like, pew. like you gotta blow okay, up here. Come on. Seven minutes and fifty-five seconds, right, right there. Mm -hmm. That's what. Thank you and welcome.